Alright, what is going on guys? It is Benny and we're going to be playing one of the most cursed combos I have ever seen in Clash Royale. I cannot believe I am doing this, but we are running Battle Ram with Mortar. Uh, definitely didn't expect this to be a thing, but you know what? When Supercell comes out with a crazy little Evo, you have to take advantage of that. So we're going to be trying this out. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and Battle Ram opposite lane because he's going to do a really bad Mega Knight. Um, pretty good skeleton army there though that he played. We can play our Little Prince in the back here to help out the Mega Knight. We'll just log that Skarmy, and then we can use our Knight to kite that Mega Knight. So let's just see what he does. Go ahead and pull him over there, and then we can just wait and see what else he plays. Pretty good Fireball by him. Let's just get our Spear Goblins over here. Then the Mega Knight will follow them, and that is going to be really easy to defend. And then we can even Mortar as a little counter push, and we should get some damage out of that. I think our Little Prince, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say our Little Prince will take that Infernal Dragon down, but he hit us with the Zap. He's very aggressive, so I'm not too sure uh, what is going on here. Now I am curious, what are your guys' thoughts on the new Battle Ram Evo, as well as the new uh, Tower Troop? I don't remember what the name is off the top of my head. The Duchess or something, I think. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are on that. Let's go ahead and Battle Ram here. And I'm going to even prediction log. Let's see if we can catch him lacking. We don't. He's going to go for the Mega Knight instead. So that is unfortunate. But we will play our Little Prince. And maybe our Knight again. Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and pull all of that towards our Mortar. Um, I think we're going to have to end up Fireballing in a second here. Little Prince is going to get interrupted. So let's go ahead and Fireball here. He's going to Fireball as well. So he's going to he's gonna get some damage there. But that's okay. He... Uh, that was his chance to, you know, trick us and starting hand us. And now that is not, I mean, not starting hand, but you know what I mean. That was his chance and he just blew it. And let's go ahead and cycle some spear goblins here. And then we can just wait it out. He's going to go for the infernal dragon. I'm just going to cycle my goblin gang here. 100% he zaps it. So, you know, we'll, yeah, there's the evil zaps. So let's go ahead and play our knight right here. And then, okay, he's going to go ahead for the mega knight. Let's go ahead and mortar and then evil ram the opposite lane. And let's see how he deals with that. I think he's not going to be able to do too much. Let's go ahead and fireball there. And then... So we get some good damage on both sides. Let's play the little prince right here. Let's get the knight in front to keep the mortar alive. And then... Let's wait. Let's actually... Okay, let's play the mortar right here just to pull that balloon nice and close. There's the zap, but that's not going to work. The battle ram definitely did do some work there. Let's go ahead and battle ram right here because he fireballed. I'm going to log just as a little prediction in case he uses that skeleton army. There's the Mega Knight. Um, let's go ahead and wait a tiny bit. And then... Hmm. Okay, we gotta play this smart, you know? So let's play let's play the Knight right here. Then let's Fireball. And then let's go ahead and play our little Prince. He went for the Evil Ice Spirit. I'm not too sure about that. We can just pull that Mortar again really easily. Or not Mortar. We can pull that Balloon with the Mortar really easily. So that'll be okay. And then let's go ahead and Battle Ram here. We won't Log Predict this time. Might as well not spend that Elixir and all right that's it i guess that's a good game let's go ahead into the next one all right you guys next matchup let's go ahead and just battle ram off the start now he has the new tower troop so that'll be interesting to see how we hold up against that with this deck it'll be interesting to see you know if that kind of changes things we can split our goblin gang right here the goblin gang will split up hopefully so that the dark prince kind of spreads out i guess it won't but let's go ahead and pull this prince here with our spear goblins and then we can just wait here. I think this might be Goblin Giant. He's going to go for the Battle Ram. Let's just pull that with our Mortar. Really easy defense. Maybe our Little Prince will fire on the Barbarians. And we will get some damage on the Tower, which is nice. I'm, now, I am curious to see how the new Tower defends against the Evil Mortar. I'm curious if that will stop the Goblin from getting a hit or if the Goblin hits speed is fast enough. I honestly have no idea. Let's go ahead and cycle a Battle Ram in the back here. Just a... You know, a nice little safe way to get something going. And then we're going to play our knight for the executioner. Um, okay, okay. I guess we're playing P.E.K.K.A. Now, he's definitely going to have Tornado if he's got executioner. So let's just play the knight behind the executioner. Best way to, you know, stop yourself from taking too much damage. Then we can play our spear goblins here. He's going to go for the dark prince, but the knight's going to distract it for a tiny bit. And then we can just play our goblin game right here to pull all of that together. And the little prince should clean it up, I hope. Let's see. Um... Alright, well Dark Prince is going to get a hit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and Mortar here. Ooh, that is bad timing. Okay, let's go ahead and log this. The Mortar should help kind of slow it down. And then we can play Spear Goblins here to help pull. Uh, we will get a Mortar lock though, which is nice. But he's going to play the Prince, so we're not really going to come out on top with the damage there. Let's go ahead and play our Knight for that Prince. And then... 
Hmm. We'll just we'll just slow it down. There's no point in playing a lot right here. Uh, because he has P.E.K.K.A., he has a pretty good stop to our evil battle ram, but I'm convinced that we might be able to get away with at least a little bit of something. Let's go ahead. That's Little Prince in the back. He's going to Executioner there, so let's go ahead and play our Mortar and then see what he does. Okay, he's going to go for the uh, Dark Prince. Let's go ahead and evil battle ram there, and that'll force out the P.E.K.K.A. And we can just play our Goblin Gang right here, and the Elite Barbarians will, or Evil Barbs, I guess I should say. Ooh, there's his evil battle ram, so let's pull that using the mortar and then let's just use our spear goblins to kind of help take everything out and kite it um okay let's just wait because the evil mortar is firing on the executioner so the executioner shouldn't get too much damage we can play our knight right here let's go ahead and battle ram opposite lane because he's going to try to build up a push there i think and then so let's see what he does here let's get our goblin gang going right here and let's get a little prince down as well and then let's play our spear goblins to pull all of that into the middle get the knight right here and I don't know what that tornado was, but it's not going to work on me. Let's go ahead and play the battle ram here, and that'll kind of force the P.E.K.K.A. to walk around, which is nice. And we'll get the battle ram on the correct tower. Then we'll pull the P.E.K.K.A. using our goblin gang. It is too bad because we can't really use our goblin gang to, you know, pull everything. Or, or not pull everything, sorry, but, you know, get a little bit of extra damage on the tower. Usually if I wasn't playing the Duchess or whatever it's called, I would be playing the goblin gang right at the bridge, but against the Duchess, I just don't think that really works. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and peck us, so I'm gonna play the Evil Battle Ram on that side. Let's even Evil Mortar that side. We might as well just keep that pressure up on him. Um, he's gonna go for the Prince to defend, that's okay. Let's play the Goblin Gang right here, then let's go ahead and play the Knight, and let's actually log this Battle Ram just to kind of stop it from doing extra damage, and then we'll protect all of that, and let's go for another Mortar here, and just wait. There's the Dark Prince. We can pull the Dark Prince right here with our Knight. And that should keep the Mortar alive. Tower is not firing on it. I was hoping the Dark Prince would jump instead of just stop there. But that's okay. Let's let the Prince get onto our Mortar. We'll play the Battle Ram right here. The nice thing about using Battle Ram with Mortar is you get a little bit of extra ground defense. Because you can use it to pull, which is kind of nice. Let's get another Mortar here. And then it might honestly get to the point where we have to Fireball Cycle. Ooh, I shouldn't have played my Goblin Gang there. Still getting used to that. Let's go ahead and play our knight right here and let's just wait a second let's go ahead and battle ram and then let's get our spear goblins and let's go ahead and get an evil mortar on this side just to keep that pressure up his tower troop is going to be out of uh sauce or whatever it's called i don't know let's get the knight in front of the dark prince to defend evil battle ram's definitely going to get on the tower let's give him a good game and let's give him a good luck that was a good close matchup a matchup we're up against falco I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't say that. But we're up against this guy. Let's go ahead and, you know, use our spear goblins to kind of help take out that bowler in a second. And we'll just play the knight to the right of the bowler to stop him from hitting the tower. And that should be a pretty easy defense. And then we can wait things out and see what's going on. He's got Night Witch. This looks like Giant Graveyard, which is a disgusting deck that I don't enjoy playing. So this will be fun for sure. But... I'm sure we can make some use out of this. There's the giant, so he's going to go ahead and try to pressure opposite lane. So let's go ahead and play the mortar here. And then let's actually play the battle ram just to kind of put a bit of pressure on him. I don't want to let him comfortably build up this massive push. There's his little prince, and he's going to have to use a zap. So now we can use our goblin gang. And then depending on what he plays, we can play spear goblins if he goes for the arrows, which would not really make sense. There's the arrow, so we can just play our spear goblins here. And then that little prince is going to be so low that I don't even think we have to really counter it. So let's go ahead and play a mortar here. And he might go for the bowler. Let's see. Okay, he's going to go for the bats. So we're going to get some good damage. And then we could actually go for the evil battle ram if he plays a counter to our mortar. I don't think he's going to have the elixir to defend both. So, okay, it looks like he's going to take that mortar damage. So I, you know, I can't complain about that. Let's go ahead and um start our knight in the back okay he's gonna go for the giant so i'm gonna go for the battle ram here that's gonna force out the bowler and then yeah there's the bowler and so you know not terrible and then we can just kind of wait things out we can use our goblin gang to counter the bowler in a second let's play our little prince here and then wait a second maybe pop yeah let's pop the little prince ability then let's go ahead and surround this bowler with the goblin gang to take care of that and that is a pretty easy, solid defense. I'm not too mad about that. He's going to go for his little prince, which is a bit of a mistake in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. I will take that any day. Very nice, easy defense. Let's go ahead and play the evil mortar here. He might go for that bowler. 
Okay, he's gonna go for the giant. I'm. I guess I just can't predict this guy. <laughs> Who knows? Let's go ahead and play the battle ram. There's the boulder. Let's play our goblin gang here. No way he doesn't play his arrows. But uh, because the evil mortar is firing on it, then you know he can't really play too much because even the evil mortar would help defend the mor the giant with the goblin. So not too big of a deal for us. He's gonna go ahead and play that night witch in the back. Let's play a fireball here to. Oh, that would have been so nice if we caught the little prince there. That would have been like the ideal world. Let's go for the battle ram here because he's going in by the looks of it. And let's we'll use our log to defend the graveyard. So let's do this because we won't take too much damage. Sometimes it's okay if you take a little bit of damage, but you know, you don't take all of the damage possible. Now we have good damage on both lanes. So what we could easily do is we could mortar this lane and then we could evil battle ram the other side in case he plays this bowler. There's the giant. So let's go ahead and goblin gang here. And Evil Battle Ram is going to do some really nice work on that Night Witch, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and Fireball here, because that's just really good value. And play our Spear Goblins here to help keep that Mortar alive and maybe get some more damage. Nice, that is a good shot. And then let's play our Knight right here for the Bowler. Let's go for another Battle Ram on this side. Because he has Cannoneer, honestly, just like changing lanes constantly seems to be giving this guy the most trouble. I'm going to ignore that little prince. The damage that he's going to get is not very meaningful. If he pops that little prince ability, then I can go ahead and use my Goblin Gang. Let's pop our little prince ability here, and then we can just log to help out with the graveyard. Pretty easy defense. Let's go ahead and mortar this side, because we have that little prince going, so he has to defend it anyways. And then we're going to be locked on tower, so that is going to be good game, I believe. Unless he zaps to stop it. Okay, he's going to zap. That's okay. Let's play the Spear Goblins here to help out with that Night Witch. And then we can just Fireball. And that is going to be good game. And let's go ahead and do one more. Alright, next matchup. Looks like we're up against Log Bait. So let's go ahead and smash this guy. We'll play the Spear Goblins on the right side just to cycle. Uh, he's going to go for the Knight. He used his Log. So let's go ahead and Battle Ram in the back. And he's either going to play his Goblin Gang or he's going to go ahead and play his building so let's wait and see let's pull this skeleton barrel using our mortar okay this is a weird version of log bait uh i'm not too sure about that i guess maybe he's running that so that you know all the people that are running the evil battle ram can't get a ton of damage which would make sense um okay hello i didn't realize that mini pekka was going to get a hit started to realize it was going to towards the last second but all right let's start that little prince in the back after that mini pekka debacle uh and let's start the battle ram here and then we can even play our Mortar. Uh, we accidentally played it one too far forward, but that's okay. Battle Ram is going in, and that kind of forces him to play all of his counters in the line. Let's go ahead and play our Little Prince ability just to keep it alive. Firecracker is down, and then we can play our Spear Goblins here to cycle and help take out everything. Um, and that's some good damage there. Honestly, that worked out a lot better than I was expecting. I feel like if they don't have a building and you start that battle ram in the very back, it's really hard for them to counter it, especially because the barbarians kind of stutter everything once they take down the battle ram. So, you know, that is definitely worth doing. Let's play our goblin gang here just to cycle because he used his log. There is a skarmy, so not too bad. I guess you can also use the battle ram defensively because it can take out like skarmy and goblin gang and stuff. Let's go ahead and play our evil mortar right here and he's gonna go for the knight which is interesting let's play oh my goodness that is so broken what is going on that is you know what i feel like we just figured out the secret little strategy there for playing this deck literally just start the evil battle ram in the back and they're done um that is crazy damage let's go ahead and cycle the spear goblins here maybe we'll get one evil mortar shot we do that is beautiful i'm happy with that we can just log this here and then let's play the little prince and let's get the mortar here to pull that skeleton barrel. Uh, he's going to go for the firecracker, which is interesting. Now, honestly, one of the reasons why I want to try out Battle Ram in this deck is just because Evil Knight, in my opinion, is like freaking useless sometimes, man. I know it is a great card, but it's just there's so many better evos sometimes, so I just don't really like using it. Um, so that's why I, I'm happier kind of experimenting with other evos if that makes sense over evo knight i don't know what this guy's doing he just gave us a lock on the tower i think um okay i guess that worked out well i thought we thought we got the lock but i don't think we did um we can play our spear goblins here let's go ahead and cycle our battle ram in the back and go for our little secret push again so let's go for the evil mortar we got the battle ram coming in let's go ahead and play our goblin gang here that is a really good log by him um let's get our knight down to keep the mortar alive and then that firecracker should go down in one shot 
Let's get the little prince up high. He's gonna go for the archers. Let's just cycle our battle round in the back here because it's the Evo. And we can get another mortar down in a second. Um, let's go ahead and play the spear goblins to distract that mini P.E.K.K.A. Evo Battle Ram is going to just tear through all of that. That is crazy. And that is going to be good game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I would definitely recommend trying this deck out if you have the ability to with the Evo Battle Ram. It is just absurd. And I will see you guys in the next one.